Hello and welcome back to Wisdom's Class, Episode 2. We're in Chapter Grace on the Proverbs. Let's jump right in and uh, let the Spirit of Wisdom do her perfect work in us here. Avoiding promiscuity, or whatever that's called. Listen to me, my son, for I know what I'm talking about. Listen carefully to my advice, so that wisdom and discernment will enter your hearts. And then the words you speak will express what you've learned. Remember this, the lips of a seductress seem sweet like honey, and her smooth words are like music to your ears. But I promise you this, in the end, all you'll be left with is a bitter conscience. For the sting of your sin will pierce your soul like a sword. She will ruin your life, drag you down to death, and lead you straight to hell. She has prevented many from considering the paths of life. Yes, she will take you with her where you don't want to go. Sliding down a slippery road and not even realizing where the two of you will end up. Listen to me, young man, and don't forget this one thing I'm telling you. Run away from her as fast as you can. Don't even go near the door of her house unless you want to fall into her seduction. In disgrace, you will relinquish your honor to another, and all your remaining years will be squandered, given over to the cruel one. And why would you let strangers take away your strength while the labors of your house go to someone else? For when you grow old, you will groan in anguish and shame as sexually transmitted diseases consume your body. And then finally, you'll admit that you were wrong and say, if only I had listened to wisdom's voice and not stubbornly demanded my own way because my heart hated to be told what to do. Why didn't I take seriously the warning of my wise counselors? Why was I so stupid to think that I could get away with it? Now I'm totally disgraced and my life is ruined. I'm paying the price for the people of the congregation are now my judges, my son. Share your love with your wife alone. Drink from her well of pleasure and from no other. <clears throat> Why would you have sex with a stranger or with anyone other than her? Reserve this pleasure for you and her alone and not with another. Your sex life will be blessed as you take joy and pleasure in the wife of your youth. Let her breasts be your satisfaction. Let her embrace intoxicates you at all times. Be continually delighted and ravished with her love. <coughs> My son, why would you be exhilarated by an adulteress, by embracing a woman who is not yours? For God sees everything you do and his eyes are wide open as he observes every single habit you have. Beware that your sins don't overtake you and the scars of your own conscience become the ropes that tie you up. Those who choose wickedness die for lack of self-control. Their foolish ways lead them astray, carrying them away as hostages, kidnapped captives, robbed of destiny. Chapter 6 Words of Wisdom My Son you co-sign a loan for an acquaintance and guarantee his debt, you'll be sorry you ever did it. You'll be trapped by your promise and legally bound by the agreement. So listen carefully to my advice. Quickly get out of it if you possibly can. Swallow your pride, get over your embarrassment, and go tell your friends you want your name off that contract. Don't put it off. Don't rest until you get it done. Rescue yourself from future pain and be free from it once and for all. 
You'll be so relieved that you did. When you're feeling lazy, come and learn a lesson from this tale of the tiny ant. Yes, all you lazy bones, come learn from the example of the ant and enter into wisdom. The ant has no chief, no boss, no manager. No one has to tell them what to do. You'll see them working and toiling all summer long, stockpiling their food in preparation for winter. So wake up, sleepyhead. How long will you lie there? When will you wake up and get out of bed? If you keep nodding off and thinking, I'll do it later, or say to yourself, I'll just sit back a while and take it easy. Just watch how the future unfolds. By making excuses, you'll learn what it means to go without. Poverty will pounce on you like a bandit and move in as your roommate for life. Here's another life lesson to learn from observing the wayward and wicked man. You can tell they are lawless. They're constant liars, proud deceivers, full of clever ploys and convincing plots. Their twisted thoughts are perverse, always with a scheme to stir up trouble, and sowing strife with every step they take. But when calamity comes knocking on their door, suddenly and without warning, they're undone, broken to bits, shattered with no hope of healing. Seven things God hates. There are six evils God truly hates and a seventh that is an abomination to him. Putting others down while considering yourself superior. Spreading lies and rumors. Spilling the blood of the innocent. Plotting evil in your heart toward another. Gloating over doing what's plainly wrong. Spouting lies and false testimony. And stirring up strife between friends. These are entirely despicable to God. My child, obey your father's godly instruction and follow your mother's life-giving teaching. Fill your heart with their advice and let your life be shaped by what they've taught you. Their wisdom will guide you wherever you go and keep you from bringing harm to yourself. Their instruction will whisper to you at every sunrise and direct you through a brand new day. For truth is a bright beam of light shining into every area of your life, instructing and correcting you to discover the ways to godly living. Truth or consequences? Truth will protect you from the immorality and from the promiscuity of another man's wife. Your heart won't be enticed by her flatteries or lust over her beauty, nor will her suggestive ways conquer you. Prostitutes reduce a man to poverty, and the adulteress steals your soul. She may even cost you your own life. For how can a man light his pants on fire and not be burned? Can he walk over hot coals of fire and not blister his feet? What well, makes you think that you can sleep with another man's wife and not get caught? Do you really think you'll get away with it? Don't you know it will ruin your life? You can almost excuse a thief if he steals to feed his own family. But if he's caught, he still has to pay back what he stole sevenfold. His punishment and fine will cost him greatly. So don't be so stupid as to think you can get away with your adultery. It will destroy your life. And don't, and you'll pay the price for the rest of your days. You'll discover what humiliation, shame, and disgrace are all about. For no one will ever let you forget what you've done. A husband's jealousy makes a man furious. He won't spare you when he comes to take revenge. Try all you want to talk your way out of it. Offer him a bribe and see if you can manipulate him with your money. 
Nothing will turn him aside when he comes to you with vengeance in his eyes. Proverbs chapter 7. Wisdom, your true love. Stick close to my instruction, my son, and follow my advice. If you do what I say, you will live well. Guard your life with my revelation truth, for my teaching is as precious as your eyesight. Treasure my instructions and treasure them within your heart. Say to wisdom, I love you, and to understanding, you're my sweetheart. May the two of you protect me, and may we never be apart. For they will keep you from the adulteress with her smooth words meant to seduce your heart. Looking out the window of my house one day, I noticed among the mindless crowd a simple, naive young man who was about to go astray. There he was, walking down the street. Then he turned the corner, going on his way, as he hurried on to the house of the harlot, the woman he had planned to meet. There he was in the twilight of dark as darkness fell, convinced no one was watching. As he entered the black shadows of hell, that's when their rendezvous began. A woman of the night appeared, dressed to kill the strength of any man. She was decked out as a harlot pursuing her amorous plan. Her voice was seductive, rebellious, and boisterous as she wandered far from what's right. Her type can be found soliciting on street corners or just about any night. So she wrapped her arms around the senseless young man and held him tight. She enticed him with kisses which seemed so right. Then, with insolence, she whispered in his ear, Come with me, it will be all right. I've got everything we need for a feast. I'll cook you a wonderful dinner. So here I am. I'm all yours. You're the very one I've looked for. The one I knew I wanted from the moment I saw you. That's why I've come out here tonight, so I could meet a man just like you. I've spread my canopy bed with coverings, lovely multicolored Egyptian linens spread and ready for you to lie down on. I've sprinkled the sheets with intoxicating perfume made from myrrh, aloes, and sweet cinnamon. Come, let's get comfortable and take pleasure in each other and make love all night. There's no one home, for my husband's away on business and he's left home loaded with money to spend, so don't worry, he won't be back until another month ends. He was swayed by her sophistication, enticed by her longing embrace. She led him down the wayward path, right into sin and disgrace. So quickly he went astray, with no clue where he was truly headed. Taken like a dumb ox alongside of the butcher, she was like a venomous snake coiled to strike. So she set her fangs into him. He's like a man about to be executed with an arrow right through his heart, like a bird that flies into the net, unaware of what's about to happen. So listen to me, you young men, you better take my words seriously. Control your sexual urges and guard your hearts from lust. Don't let your passions get out of hand. And don't lock your eyes onto a beautiful woman. Why would you want to even get close to temptation and seduction to have an affair with her? She has pierced the souls of multitudes of men. Many mighty ones have fallen and have been brought down by her. If you're looking for the road to hell, just go looking for her house. Proverbs chapter 8 Wisdom calling. Can't you hear the voice of wisdom? From the top of the mountains of influence, she speaks into the gateways of the glorious city. At the place where pathways merge, at the entrance of every portal, there she stands, 
ready to impart understanding, shouting aloud to all who enter, preaching her sermon to all who will listen. I'm calling to you, sons of Adam. Yes, and you daughters as well, listen to me. And you will be prudent and wise, for even the foolish and feeble can receive an, an understanding heart that will change their innermost being. The meaning of my words will release within you revelation for you to reign in life. My lyrics will empower you to live by what is right. For everything I say is unquestionably true, and I refuse to endure the lies of lawlessness. My words will never lead you astray. All the declarations of my mouth can be trusted. They contain no twisted logic or perversion of the truth. All my words are clear and straightforward to everyone who possesses spiritual understanding. If you have an open mind, you will receive revelation knowledge. My wise correction is more valuable than silver or gold. The finest gold is nothing compared to the revelation knowledge I can impart. Wisdom is so priceless that it exceeds the value of any jewel. Nothing you can, could wish for can equal her. For I am wisdom. I am shrewd and intelligent. I have at my disposal living understanding to devise a plan for your life. Wisdom pours into you when you begin to hate every form of evil in your life. For that's what worship and fearing God is all about. Then you will discover that your pompous pride and perverse speech are the very ways of wickedness that I hate. The Power of Wisdom You will find true success when you find me. For I have insight into wise plans that are designed just for you. I hold my hands living understanding, courage, and strength. They're all ready, waiting for you. I empower kings to reign and rulers to make laws that are just. I empower princes to rise and take dominion and generous ones to govern the earth. I will show my love to those who passionately love me. For they will search and search continually until they find me. Unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. The riches of righteousness and a long, satisfying life will be given to them. Would I impart has greater worth than gold and treasure. And the increase I bring benefits more than a windfall of income. I lead you into the ways of righteousness to discover the paths of true justice. Those who love me gain great wealth and a glorious inheritance. I will fill their lives with treasures Wisdom in the beginning. In the beginning I was there, for God possessed me, even before he created the universe. From eternity past I was set in place. Before the world began I was anointed from the beginning. Before the ocean depths were poured out, and before there were any glorious fountains overflowing with water, I was there dancing, even before one mountain had been sculpted or one hill raised up. I was already there dancing when he created the earth, the fields, even the first atom of dust. I was already there when he hung the tapestry of the heavens and stretched out the horizon of the earth, when the clouds and skies were set in place. And the subterranean fountains began to flow strong. I was already there. 
when he set in place the pillars of the earth and spoke the decrees of the seas, commanding the waves so that they wouldn't overstep their boundaries, I was there close to the Creator's side as his master artist. Daily he was filled with delight in me as I playfully rejoiced before him. I laughed and played so happily with what he had made while finding my delight in the children of men. So listen, my sons and daughters, to everything I tell you, for nothing will bring you more joy than following my ways. Listen to my counsel, for my instruction will enlighten you. You'll be wise not to ignore it. If you wait at wisdom's doorway, longing to hear a word for every day, joy will break forth within you. As you listen for what I'll say, for the fountain of life pours into you every time you find me. And this is the secret of growing in the delight and the favor of the Lord. But those who stumble and miss me will be sorry they did. For ignoring what I have to say will bring harm to your own soul. Those who hate me are simply flirting with death. Wow. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We just cry out to wisdom. Thank you for leading us into all truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for just imparting to us this great, these great deep levels of worship, of wisdom to forsake the promiscuous woman, the whores of Babylon, these sluts that try to drag us down and destroy the many that she has destroyed. And that's what they are. They are whores. They are evil, wicked spirits working through women or even men to seduce a woman. Thank you for exposing these things today. And we choose today to walk in the ways of wisdom, to forsake evil, to run from it, and, and to embrace every single word and let them open up within us a well of salvation, a well of living water, a well to wash away all the dust that would try to drown us and bury us in the earth surface, in the earthly life. As we are called to soar with you in the heavens, Father. And I thank you for crucifying everyone's flesh and emotions and putting everything to death in Christ and let the Spirit of God arise up within us and out through us today with an increase of glory and an increase of wisdom and an increase of understanding and that that joy that was promised in the Scriptures would overflow through your body today in the name of Jesus. I'll see you guys in the next video.